I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. Hello collectors and welcome to the discount action figure dude. I am your host Christopher and we're getting to the end. I mean we still got a few figures to go. But we're getting to the end of filling up this bag of these figures with all of these build a figure parts so that we can finally get to building the build a figures in this bag. Today as we rustle through our bag our grab bag of random Marvel Legends let's see what we pull out and today we have pulled out ah yes kid marvels kid omega i have no idea who this is again i am this 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 had to be really cheap i can't imagine that i mean you, look i know that i'm the discount action figure dude and there's literally almost nothing that I will buy if it is on sale if only so I can talk about it with you but even I have my limits this could be the best figure ever made mind you but I, I honestly don't know who this is I don't know who Marvel's Kid Omega is oh, oh by the way I did it in my last video and I'm gonna ask again just in case somebody didn't watch that and they didn't know who the hell is this here I don't know who he is but um yeah we got we have Kid Omega here who we ha we don't know who he is. He's clearly an X Man of some kind, and uh, and we still have quite a few figures to go. Uh, like if I was to tell you that, um, actually, with the exception of Emma Frost and Starjammer, I don't know who any of these other figures are. But um, enough of that. Let's cut this bitch open. Here goes Kid Omega uh, out of the out of the box. Uh, looking, uh, <laughs> looking like a, a very basic black figure with a little bit of pink paint on him. And of course the midsection for Chode, which I think, if I, this looks like the midsection for, uh, Abomination. But, you know, whatever. And he has his accessories, which includes uh, some kind of uh, special effects gun, which looks kind of cool, and some hands. But hey, uh, let's put the uh, builder figure piece away. Let's hope Kit make it stands up. But let's say we take a closer look at Kid Omega. And here goes Kid Omega. Um, we're going to say that um, it doesn't seem like whoever Kid Omega happens to be, this must have been quite the uh, boon for Team Marvel Legends because it doesn't look like they had to do too much to create this action figure. What we have here is a a fairly basic body there is as we as you can clearly see no sculpting on the body it's just a a few lines on the body and I guess the few lines that are on the body seem to be done fairly well he has a face sculpt of course that's uh, fairly unique I guess and some energy glasses, which match his energy gun. I mean, you gotta, at, at least uh, Kid Omega is uh, matching his hair. Uh, again, it looks like his, his little fell hawk is, uh, it looks okay. It is a sculpted piece on the figure. I'm not saying, again, you know. 
uh, like putting some kind of texture or wash on this hair and this figure at that point would be just, you know, flat out insulting. The gun looks pretty cool. You know, it's translucent. It's warped a little bit. But you know what? I don't know who Kid Omega is, actually. And it could be that his gun is warped in real life. You know, that way he can curve the energy blast with his warped gun. I'm guessing I got Kid Omega from deep a discount. And I am going to guess that I probably paid anywhere from $13 to $15 for Kid Omega. I shouldn't have paid that. I shouldn't have paid that. I shouldn't have bought, in all honesty, when I say be better than me, I'm not trying to be glib or funny. I mean it. I shouldn't have bought any of these figures on this particular wave. I mean, none of them. Monet St. Croix turned out to be a pleasant surprise, and Emma wasn't too bad. I shouldn't have bought any of them. I certainly shouldn't have bought this. Now, if you happen to be a big fan of Kid Omega, I'm pretty sure that this Kid Omega would be a disappointment to you. I'm pretty sure. But hey, you know, we, you know, if you, you know, Kid Omega, at least he, you know, he can, it's a Spider-Man body, so he can do Spider-Man type things. He can, you know, so, you know, Kid Omega can do all kinds of crazy stuff if you need him to do it. So, I mean, look at that articulation. Look at that. That's great. So, what kind of value do we assign Kid Omega? And this is not to insult the big Kid Omega fans out there. You know, I mean, this figure might be spot on perfect for what you are looking for. But this figure has no interest for me. And, for instance, this guy. I, I don't know who he is. That's why I'm asking you. Who is he? But, I find him endlessly fascinating. I don't know who he, he just, he has bug eyes and weird red dots protruding from his chest, including, ah, he has red dots everywhere, including double holsters for his gun. You know, so he can put his guns places. Kid Omega has a blank black body with pink paint on it. So, as far as value is concerned, sadly, Kid Omega has no value to me. He has zero value to me.